In this video I'm going to look at a slightly more difficult type of orders question where you're given data in a rate table and the problem is you can't keep one of the concentrations constant. So here's the table in question. You can see substance A is going to be fairly straightforward to work out its order because we can hold B constant. However, to work out B's order, we need to try and hold A constant, and you can see we can't do that. So that makes this one slightly more tricky. If you want to have a go, pause the video and then just play on for the answer. Otherwise, keep listening and I'm going to go through the answer now. So like I said at the start, it's going to be fairly straightforward to work out the order with respect to A. So using experiments 1 and 2, you can see that A's concentration has trebled. And the initial rate, if we divide this number here by this number here, we can see how many times bigger this is. It's 9 times bigger. So a threefold increase in the concentration of A has led to a ninefold increase in the initial rate and so therefore A must be second order. So if we move on to B now, the trickier one, I'm going to use experiments two and three. I could have used one and three, but it's easy to do it this way. So in experiments two and three, you can see that um, concentration of A has doubled and the concentration of B has also doubled. So if we look at what happened to the rate, so we're going to divide this number here by this number here. That's an eight-fold increase. So if we bring in the rate equation as it stands at the moment, we get that. So rate equals k, the rate constant, multiplied by the concentration of a squared, multiplied by the concentration of b to an unknown power, but it can only be 0, 1 or 2 because they're the orders we deal with at A level. Plug in the numbers we know so far. So the rate's got to go up eight times. We know that the concentration of A is going to double, but we're going to square that, so that's going to give us times four. And then we're going to multiply that by the doubling of B raised to the power of the order. So effectively, we need the answer to this two, to this unknown power, to be two. So that when you go two times four, you get the eight. So obviously, the order for B has got to be first.